Hi guys, today I'm uh, looking to replace the spring hinges on this Westinghouse oven. Um, I'm not sure how old it is, probably 10 or 15 years old, possibly longer. So these hinges are the ones here. Um, the door hadn't been closing properly, letting, letting some, some hot air out when the oven was on. Was, we put up with it for a couple of years and it's finally decided to bite the bullet and to replace it. Now, um, I was originally looked at it and it looks going to cost a hundred bucks or so to get some parts. But the other day I looked on eBay and these two hinges turned up today. So only a couple of days later, um, genuine Electrolux uh, hinges. Um, they seem to suit a vast array of the different types of ovens that, that are produced, including these West, this Westinghouse one. Um, so I'm going to get along and try to replace them. I didn't. I was reluctant to replace them originally uh, because the oven seemed to be working okay, and it was a bit intermittent. It was kind of sometimes closing, sometimes it wasn't. But yeah, it's obvious that it needed to be done. Um, and sometimes when you pull things apart, older ovens, you can break things. And I was just letting things go for now. Anyway, so what we need to do is there's a couple of little um, uh, toggles here that we need to that. You, you pull them up, and then that allows us to um, to engage those parts, and then you can lift lift it up, and then you can pull out the um, whole unit, which then we'll be able to uh, pull the top the, these this top part off away from the uh, the rest of the oven door, and that'll get us access to the hinges to replace. So we'll give that a crack. Okay, the uh, oven door has been removed from the unit. We had to, so these toggles, if we can see there are up and that's in the position we had to use to um, to then allow to lift and pull the door out. Want to pull apart this metal part from the front section. To do that, we've got screw here, screw here. There's another couple of screws which hold the hinges to that back metal part. So I don't think we need to take them apart for now, but I do know that we need to. Um, there seems to be, there was a, um, a glue or a, a sealant that was in between the, the front and the back piece um, that I needed. So I used a, uh, the, a knife here to cut that away. Um, there's probably other ways to do it. Um, and, and it may be best to, to uh, clean it and reseal that. But um, I'll see if that goes together okay, and I'll probably just leave that because um, it's an old um, old oven. I just want to get this back together. I think there's plenty of ways to to, to do fix things, um, and this is just the way that I'll be using it today. So let's pull it apart. Okay, new hinges in. Look like they've gone in okay. It required a fair bit of muscle to. Um, there was no thread on this screw here so we've got that sorted now um, this you can might be able to just make out it's like a seal on the outside okay which um, kept the outside and the inside together so anyway we'll stick it back together hope it goes okay door opens closes much better now the key was just to make sure that these um, to get that uh, hinge or that latch for the hinge um, in the right position to slot it in and then drop it down and then these come out um, So it seems close okay While I'm at it, and then I'm going to do the, the bottom one as well